Hello and welcome back. In this episode, we're going to be making a few sewer tiles, um, like the ones you can see in the picture here. And uh, as always, you can find a link to the PDF file for these in the description below. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, there's a couple of different ways of making these and uh, the quickest method is to simply take one of the textures containing the water channels and, uh, and glue that to some double corrugated cardboard. Then we can cut out a tile to whatever size we like, um, remembering to keep an extra half inch gap around all of the edges, um, just like we did in episode one. And then we can take some of the wool texture, which has also been glued to some cardboard and cut into a half inch strip, and cut those to size and glue them along the edges of the tile. As I say, the basic tile assembly is covered in episode one, but uh, it's all fairly straightforward stuff, and this is the kind of thing we should end up with. But uh, if you are wondering what size tiles you might need to get started, then uh, here's a quick look at how you can cut up each sheet to make a basic set. Anyway, I'll just lay out a few tiles that I made earlier, um, just to give you a better idea of how they look, and uh, we can also use some of the pipes that we made in episode 14 to, uh, to add a bit more detail here and there. Though I should point out that I've made these one and a half inches long, um, just so that the back end lines up with the edge of the outer wall, and the front end finishes at the edge of the water channel. So yeah, that's the first method. Okay, an alternative way of making these is by using the plain floor texture and the plain water texture. And when using this method, we'll first need to glue the water texture to some single corrugated cardboard and, uh, and then cut it to size. Then we'll do a similar thing with the walkways and, uh, and glue those in place. So as you can see here, in this example, the aim is to make a central water channel with a walkway on either side. So something like that. Then all we'll need to do is glue the walls in place. And so uh, I'll just quickly do that here. And here's the finished piece. So yeah, um, this second method is ideal if you, uh, if you don't want to be limited to the layouts I provided on the other two sheets. Though uh, you could also use these textures to make flooded rooms or side passages um, or anything like that. And that's it for this episode. Um, just a short one again, but uh, hopefully it was worthwhile. So as always, remember to like and subscribe and all that other nonsense. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.